train package in it. I'd say it's not defrosting. A lot. Good transformer, shocking me. Ouch. Unit is running. It's called a force of defrost. Defrost control is bad. So, I don't have a train defrost control, but I will rig something up. Here is the existing coil sensor, coil temperature sensor. I'm going to remove it and put on a traditional defrost thermostat. Okay, there's the new defrost thermostat in place. The wires come up and over, and they'll hook on this particular board between the red which is just an extension of this wire and the defrost thermostat terminal. This is a used board. It is uh, off of a carrier heat pump. Um, it would be the same as say an ICM 321 would be its replacement. Um, I think the actual compressor that was in the old carrier I scrapped out is actually in this unit now. See that CR28 with a 96 serial number? This is a two-ton train package unit. Uh, I think it was built in 99. And last year the compressor went out, the big orange compressor. And I had that uh, two and a half ton sitting around, so uh, this is actually at a friend's house, so I just that's the only thing I had. I stuck it in there so they'd have some uh, air conditioning and so far so good. So this will be a hybrid train slash carrier unit. Okay guys, I've got it wired up. I haven't tied anything up yet. I'm going to wait and make sure it works. Again, I'm not even sure where this old board came from. But I set it on a 50 minute defrost time. Um, the coil is still very blocked on the inside, so I'm hoping it'll chill off pretty soon and allow it to jump into defrost when I speed it up. Otherwise, I'll have to jump the sensor out. I don't think it's ready right yet. So I'll continue to let it run, start straightening some of this up. Hopefully that defrost thermostat will close in a few minutes. Okay, I jumped out the defrost thermostat because I'm not a very patient person. Let's see what happens. Defrost. The fan has stopped. The reversing valve has triggered. It'll start pumping heat into the outdoor coil. This train's a little unusual in that the relay on the defrost board, instead of switching high voltage, actually just pulls in a 
relay down here, which opens opens and closes the fan connection and bypasses the low pressure switch during defrost. Okay, we're finished up here. There's the new board. Screwed down, connections made, everything wired back up. I went ahead and took the grill off and wrenched them in there and broke out some of the big ice chunks so they wouldn't wind up in the fan blade after a while. But hopefully it'll be okay now. Still some ice in there, but I don't think it'll cause any troubles. It's froze solid all the way around the curve and I just can't get it out. So that's all for today.